Hello, I am Gauri. Welcome to my channel. Articulate with Gauri Kamboj. Hello friends, welcome back to another one of the pen and ink and watercolor wash series. As usual, I am using my gold pressed acid free watercolor paper. And now sharing with you my reference picture, two puppies cuddling together. Slightly more complex than a tree, but this too can be sketched very easily using the pen and ink and watercolor wash technique. This picture is of my newborn puppies culling together on a coverlet in a basket. My favorite new subject to paint. So let's get started. I have drawn a nine block grid to get my proportions right. The reference picture too had this grid. This makes sketching with pencil very easy. The basic sketch should always be done with pencil in case you get something wrong. First the outline and then the snout of the puppy lying underneath. I know it's quite a tangle of limbs out there but not very difficult if we refer to the picture repeatedly while sketching. Especially the ears tangled together making a strange triangle and the back of the puppy on top and the tail. This is a very basic and rough sketch. The position of the puppies is such that their faces are not really seen and that makes my job a lot easier. Now for the weaving of the basket, I have to draw lines at the correct angle because the basket creates a sense of depth in the painting. The coverlet too is important because it has a lot of creases as well as an edging which has been stitched. These stitch lines are key to giving you the depth and the fall of the cloth. Once the sketch is done, let's go in and mark the outlines with a black fine point gel pen. Let's look once more at the reference picture. To observe the source of light and the shadows. The outline is now almost completed. The next stage is the watercolor washes. We begin with the lightest color to the darkest ones. This includes light yellow, brown, ochre, burnt sienna and of course gradation of blues for the coverlet. The coverlet looks darkest closer to the bodies, especially close to the body and under the limbs. Between the limbs on the left two are the darkest spots as the source of light is from the top right. The body of my white puppy too needs a light shade of cream. Now for the darkest color on the puppies which is the burnt ochre and burnt sienna. This will generate texture as well as more shadows.
Once these washes are dry, I am going to use my fine tip gel pen again to create more texture, especially the wavy texture of the hair on the bodies. The details of the paws as well as their claws can be defined now. After this, let me mark out the shadows in the weave of the basket. In the final stage, I am using a N with a bolder tip. Its thicker tip will give me darker shadows quickly. As you can see, everything is now much more sharply defined. The folds of the coverlet and the shadows that come with its creases are now clear. The stitching on the edge of the coverlet is now clearly defined with the dark bold pen, giving the final touches to the weave of the basket. And the darkest shadows are now complete. All that remains is to sign one's name on this piece of art. So let's look at our reference picture for the final time and then compare it with our pen and ink and watercolor sketch. If you like this kind of art related content and haven't yet pressed the like button, please do so. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Bye.